what I want to do is show you how to drag and drop images directly into Gutenberg so we automatically upload oh, sorry uploads a file but before we do that let me just show you the current functionality because you can do that exact thing right now so what I'll do is I will I do have images here so let me just check out my image all right um, this is my old my old audio setup which I'm just trying to um, sell because I'm trying to downsize um, I've got a new mic now but an actual cheaper mic the costs of this yeah you know, that was just that was way way too fancy anyway coming back to this so if I want to upload a file all I need to do is click on this upload it and and also check check this out which I just thought I'd show you is that you can chuck it into different columns as well which is pretty cool okay so take note of this it just says file it just says file entity has been created successfully. Now, take note of the file entity because from a Drupal standpoint, this is very important, okay? But here you can see a file has been created. Perfect, okay? We can come along in here. We can we can resize it already. This is, this, this functionality compared to current standard Drupal is light years ahead, unfortunately. You know, it is. Um, we can set it as full width. We can do all this type of stuff. Of course, you'll probably have to tweak um, tweak the front end for it. I'm not sure. I'd be curious to see how this cropping works. Uh, I haven't really tested it for this video. Maybe we're gonna have a play with it at the end. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but you can crop. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just give it a go. Why don't we? Um, let's say square. Come along in here and say apply. Boom. All right. It 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 works. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I won't I, I won't lie to you. That is pretty cool. Um, now well, let's just have a look. I want to see does it actually modify the original source? Um, because if you want to have a look at the look at the file that was uploaded, come in here. Oh no, it doesn't. That is interesting. All right, that is interesting. It actually creates a copy. Huh. Okay. That is a nice to know. You know what? I, I I have to probably do a separate tutorial or a separate video on this stuff. But all of these are, are, are ideas for a lot of these live streams, which I, I'm trying to just get into the habit of doing a lot more of. Okay, that is very interesting. Anyway, so I've done all of this. I've edited. What you can do here then on the right-hand side is you can adjust the, you can make it rounded. You can also add in alt text. You can adjust the square, sorry, the aspect ratio, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can also change the image style. Now these on the bottom, can you see this? No, you can't because my avatar is covering it. Let me just move this up so you can see it. Okay, there you go, right there. Okay, I'm just, I'm just looking at my other screen to see because my face is covering it. Um, so here, so these are image styles. So if, so, so if you use Drupal, you know, these are just standard image styles. So I can go ahead and change it to a thumbnail and it looks terrible uh, to be expected. All right, cool. So I can go ahead and save it, all right? And it looks great there, okay? But importantly, it's just created a file entity. Now you can go ahead and if I create another piece of content, come along in here. Uh, let's call this test article two. Um, test article two. And if I go slash image, I can upload. All right. I can drag and drop as you saw. I can click on media library and then I've got, and then, and then it displays a media library of the, of the file entities. So here you can see the two versions because one is edited and one isn't. So, so these two files match, of course, these files right here. But the problem with this is that it cannot be reused with other parts of Drupal. Normally, you would have to use the media module with media library. That is the now de facto standard way of creating reusable assets. So the simple fix for this is to just install the media module and media library because then um, Gutenberg just automatically integrates with it because it must have code that knows, okay, you have media library installed, then then, then what happens is when you upload a file, it actually creates a media um, entity as well as a file entity for you. So all we need to do to fix this problem is just install media and media library. Now, let's be honest, you should have this module already installed on your site. 
Um, I recommend that you always use a media, the you know image media type for handling your assets um, because it just gives you way more flexibility. So if we now go ahead and let's just go and remove this stuff. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll also, uh, let's just remove this. All right, cool. So now what we can do is something that's new in Drupal. And I think it's like Drupal 10.2, I think, or 10.1. I don't know. It's been recent. You can actually delete files, which is cool. It's been a while since, um, yeah, you've been able to do that. Of course, you can do that with custom, custom well, with modules, but actually support that out of the box is awesome. Now, we have this new media, media tab. That's because we have the media module installed. And if we go ahead, go back to our article and upload, where is it? Upload our image straight away, you'll see file and media entity have been successfully have been created successfully. And then if I come back here, you can see that a media entity has been created straight away. And now this means that you can then reuse this asset on any type of other custom field that you have in Drupal. So you're not just tied to the media stuff. Uh, sorry, to um, Gutenberg. So let's go ahead and modify this. And the good thing is, even though it's still using a, I'll be curious to know, maybe it's using the, file entity directly here because yeah, you can pretty much just change whatever you want and, and, and it works the same way, but I will be curious now. And I like to do, you know, stuff that I haven't tested. Let's crop this. So if I come along in here, crop, and I want to know what it actually does. So zoom. All right, let's zoom into this focus, right? Uh, let's zoom into this interface and cl um, cloud lifter, which is a preamp. Click on apply. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Click on save. Interesting, he hasn't updated it. Anyway, oh no, had to clear, the, oh, sorry, had to do a hard, hard refresh. Now, what does this do? Does it, all right, still creates the edited version. Ha, huh, but he doesn't attach it. Interesting, interesting. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. We'll give it that. All right. That's in, in, interesting because you could essentially have editors. You could have, hmm, you could have editors go in there, attach images, resize them, crop them, and it doesn't update this, this actual media asset. Hmm. Anyway, that's a, that's a, well, you know, no system is perfect. No system is perfect. All right, now, if I was to upload, let me upload an actual asset here. And what I'll do is I will upload, what have we got here? Okay, let's put in this actual mic one here. What is it? Sure. What's it called? SM7B. I always forget the name. SM7B. Click on save. And then if I go back into my editor, and what I'll do is let's be extra fancy because we love columns. All right, why is that not letting me? All right, columns, two by two. Let's move this one in there and let's select image. And what I can do is I do get this nice little set up right here. You know, it needs to be kind of styled, but you can see this is the media library and then I can select my asset, which I've created elsewhere. Insert it in, align left. No, that doesn't work. Center, let's see what happens. All right, need to do a bit of front end work, but that's to be expected.